these are the basic plane exercises for standard planes. Um, everything comes down to shape. You've got basically rectangles and triangles, and that's how you create almost every single plane. Um, so the first one is to go back and up. And the way you're going to do this is create two horizontal lines and draw a big triangle with the point at the top. Um, one of the things that I'm doing here that you'll notice immediately is that I'm using two different colors of pencil. One, a light value color and another, a dark value color. And that's going to allow me to sketch out and then go back and emphasize what I want to emphasize and make any changes without having to erase. So this one, I'm just going back upward and to the right. It's just another variation on the plane. And what I'm paying attention to is that I'm keeping my top and bottom, um, you know, parallel to each other. And then I'm going back in a very gradual triangle towards the back. You notice that the lines aren't perfectly straight and that's totally okay. Next, you go back up and left. You're doing the basically, basically the same exercise. You're just going back in a different direction. Um, there's more ways to do this and you should come up with your own little variations on this and try every direction, try every uh, length, width, thickness, and do as much as you can with this just to get comfortable with making space on a page. You can also stand them up. This one you're going back up and right as if you're looking down onto the plane. So this will be useful for creating objects later. One of the things that I'm also using is line weight. So I'm using heavier, darker, um, thicker lines on the front plane and, the, and where the plane touches the ground. I'm using lighter lines as it goes back. It's just a quick way to emphasize the amount of depth because the tendency when you're using line work only and not using value is to um, have dark lines pop forward. Next, you're going to go back down and right. This one's the same as all the others. Um, you're just continuing to explore and change directions. It's important to take your time with this and kind of master that feel and be sure that you're creating the amount of dimension that you want. Another important one is to go back and down um, as if you're looking at a ceiling. And this will be useful when you're stacking objects, doing stuff in perspective, and so on. Um, the last one we're going to do is just a standard back and left. It looks kind of like a wall when you look at it. Um, and you have all the, all the basic tools to do this if you know how to draw a triangle and a square. You're basically just cutting off triangles and playing with how that feels in terms of the depth. And there are tons of ways to do this, tons of exercises you can do. Don't be limited by what I've shown you in this video. Go ahead and create all, all the types of planes you can think of and have a lot of fun with it.